كندا أيها حبيبي كان آه وأوحى كده على حفلة آه طبلا عارن إسلام ركانا أي سوق من قابيين سومالي كندي عن كونغرس سي إس سي يا جالية درر براو مجالة ترونتو حفلة ده سو حبيبي كان آه وأسي خيمة بدن كده على هوتل كويا لا مجالة ترونتو إيدال كندي كندا لو عزم إسلام ركانا لو جم هاد عليه دولة تركيا إسلام ركانا هل جن كي كي جيستي دبتوين كي كده عدل كسومالي هي إسبلارنتي أي كسم أي سودن كسومالي إذا وليبا ودن كسومالي أو بقد الرجل وزارة هادل كتركيا تاسو إن ده يفتر إن قتي دمان ودم هذا عالم كإنه يكون يردان مقالة مقدشة إن مدة الله هس إن يتحي مقالة لك قلنا هبين كان عاوا حفلة دان قيمة هي خاية هلا أو أي سوق بن قابيان أورك كندي عن سومالي كونغرس سي إس سي كوميونتي كرر برا وإيه مقالة ترونتو حفلة ده أنا أيوة حاكا هلا سفير كهذا الك تركيا أوفر يا وطن كا كندا إسلام أمريكا أنا كم هاد ولي حفلة دي قيمة هي قاية هبطنات اللوس مي هبين كا عاوا إسلام أمريكا أنا لوجم هاد ولي وحنا هذا الذي سكمل ده مستر أحمد حسين استيمت بريزيدنت أوف دي كندي عن سومالي كونغرس distinguished members of the Somali community in Toronto, brothers and sisters. On behalf of my government, I greet you with my most sincere feelings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. On this occasion, I would like to express my sincere thanks to the executives of the Canadian Somali Congress for giving me the opportunity to address and convey brotherly messages of the Turkish Canadian community to the people of Somalia. Turkey and Somalia enjoy deeply rooted friendly relationships. Instability and crisis in Somalia has lasted quite long and prevented the country from using its potential. Turkey genuinely believes that it is time for the brotherly people of Somalia to take their place among the respected members of the world nation's family. Restoration of stability in Somalia has of utmost importance because Somalia is situated at a very strategic location, controlling the international trade routes along with its vicinity in the Middle East, to the Middle East. Therefore, establishment of a lasting peace in Somalia is Turkey's sincere wish. We also believe that this critical situation that Somalia is passing through provides a historic opportunity for the international community to help the people of Somalia. With this understanding, Turkey pursues a comprehensively, comprehensive policy towards Somalia, which reflects not only her commitment to the historic brotherhood between our two peoples but also marks her pioneering rule among the international community for drawing the world's attention to the crisis. Our policy employs a holistic strategy for a lasting peace and a steady de development. This strategy is based on the notion that a breakthrough in Somalia is merely possible through the simultaneous implementation of various elements which are interconnected and complementary for a durable solution. Therefore, the primary pillar of our 
strategy is removing indifference of the international community to the solitude that Somalia experiences. In this context, visit of our Prime Minister, Mr. Recep Tayyip Erdogan, to Mogadishu <laughs> on 19th of August 2011 set a precedent for the rest of the world. As a further step in this direction, we have opened our embassy in Mogadishu on November the 1st, 2011. Turkish Airlines launched its first regular flight between Istanbul and Mogadishu on 5th of March, 2012. The Turkish Embassy has been serving as a point of contact in Mogadishu for Western countries and international organizations which do not have any permanent representation in Somalia. Moreover, Turkish Airlines has started direct flights between Istanbul and Mogadishu as a first step of integrating the people of Somalia with the rest of the world. As, as you have been introduced, uh, the director of Turkish Airlines, Mr. Orhan Sivikaya, is together with us. Moreover, a Turkish private school has been opened in Mogadishu in November 2011. <laughs> Turkey also provides various public and private scholarships for Somali students. Currently, around 1,500 students continue their studies in Turkey. <laughs> we attach utmost importance for a well-structured national education system in Somalia, since it is the key for building an all-inclusive Somali identity which will create the future of Somalia. <laughs> the second and third pillars of our strategy employ intensive humanitarian technical assistance and long-term development projects. We believe that consistent implementation of these projects will culminate in the reconstruction of the infrastructure in the country that is crucial for restoration of peace and stability. <laughs> to this end, we have commenced work to establish two regional development offices, one in Galmaduk and the other in Puntland regions. <laughs> These offices will focus on further local development capacity building, and infrastructure projects. Furthermore, Turkish International Cooperation and Development Agency and various public and civil society institutions continue numerous projects in Somalia, which cover a broad range of activities in the fields of infrastructure, humanitarian support, and education. Three visits paid our, by our Deputy Prime Minister to Mogadishu since last September to observe and coordinate the ongoing reco reconstruction work of Turkish agencies and NGOs indicates a resolute stance for Somalia. On this occasion, he also opened the Aden Abdullah International Airport of Mogadishu, which was renewed by Turkish International Cooperation Agency and the Al-Shifa hospital that was constructed by a Turkish NGO. Our active support and contribution to the political reconciliation process and assistance for improving the security environment constitute the fourth and fifth elements of our strategy. We attach utmost importance to the reinforcement of national security forces and the contingents of the African Union mission in Somalia. <laughs> Hence, we also provide support to the transitional federal government and the African Union for rehabilitation of the national security forces and meeting the logistical needs of the units of the African Union mission in Somalia. We pledged a total amount of $2 million 
for the reinforcement of both, which we gradually fulfilled. Before concluding my words, I would like to inform you also about the second Istanbul conference on Somalia that will be organized between June the 1st and 2nd, 2012, in close cooperation with the United Nations. The, the Istanbul conference will be held at this critical time when new, more positive circumstances exist in Somalia. The conference will address all issues related to Somalia, including the political process, national reconciliation, security, humanitarian assistance, infrastructure and rebuilding projects, economy and piracy. In doing so, <laughs> Turkey will closely work with the international community, especially with the United Nations, the European Union, the African Union, the Organization of Islamic Conference and the Intergovernmental Authority on Development. We believe that the international community will continue to support Somali federal institutions in the completion of the process of the transition period until August 2012 in accordance with the provisions of the roadmap. To sum up, as of May 2012, the total value of our assistance to Somalian brothers and sisters has already surpassed 50 million US dollars. <laughs> dear, dear Somalian brothers and sisters of Turkey, Somalia is no longer helpless and you have an everlasting brother who will never, ever leave you alone. Thank you. My name is Aisha, and I'm here on behalf of the Somali Badawanese Association of Canada. <laughs> Let me begin by thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and each and every one of you for being here today. I would like to convey a heartfelt greeting 
by the Somali Barawanis people to the Ambassador Ali Riza and the Director of Turkish Airline, Mr. Orhan. It is our great pleasure and privilege to have you here on this blessed evening. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. How are you guys doing today? Good. Alhamdulillah. Once again, we must thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for everything and every morning that we do wake up. We have all seen images as well as footage of hungry and dying children, whether on World Vision or other charities. How many of you thought about helping? And how many of you made dua? How many of you didn't even make dua? Right now, I want everybody to take your time to make dua for everyone all over the world, whether in Turkey, Somalia, Palestine, or anywhere else. I mean, okay. <clears throat> this case is closer to home for many of us, but our Turkish family did more to help us. They not only prayed for us, they not only prayed for us, they helped provide necessary and human rights that we did deserve. We have the right. We have the right to food, we have the right to shelter, and we have rights for everything that we have here in Canada, we should have it back home in Somalia. Yes. Alhamdulillah. They also showed us love, instead of turning a blind eye when many other world powers did. And for that, I'd like to say Jazakallah, as well as Tushakur. I am sure that you will all agree with me that we can all learn from the Turkish initiative that when you provide sincere assistance directly and immediately to those who are most in need, you gain the hearts and minds of the people. On behalf of the Somali Barawa Canadian Association of Canada, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to the government and the people of Turkey who are committed to assisting us in our struggle and for standing by us during these hard times, for being busy with humanitarian and rehabilitation efforts and to rebuild our country, Somalia. Thank you and thank you, Turkey. Turkey, thank you. Thanks for everything you've done for Somalia. Thank you. It's not even enough. But one day, we will do something to show our... appreciation in Brawa language. We just said basically thank you Turkey for what you have done to Somalia and we cannot even express how we feel. So thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. Sidokale hafla dangi maha ya kaya hale habin kana awa waha ka hale gudubi ha Somali Canadian Congress CSC Islamarkana umahad waliye دولة دلك تركيا إسلام أركان جانتي هجر لا أنا ديك جيسة دلك سوماليا وحنا أصلنا هذا الذي سيكمل ده بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم هذا هو الأكسن I will keep my remarks short I will focus first on who we are we are the Canadian Somali Congress we are a national advocacy organization and we are very very organized Somali Bravenese Canadian Association our brothers Uh, we're here today to uh, do something that um, is expected of every human, which is to um, appreciate those who do uh, any little deed, any little good deed for you. Um, our wonderful mothers have taught us that life lesson very early in life, that 
whoever shows you kindness and extends a helping hand in genuine brotherhood should be thanked and thanked and never forgotten. Um, I have met uh, Consul General Ali Riza, Mr. Orhan Sivrikia, Director of Turkish Airlines, and I've corresponded with Khan Yoldas, the Vice Consul, and we're very, very pleased to have both uh, those guests here today. I have also had the wonderful opportunity to meet uh, Mr. Sukan Alkin, who's the uh, president of the Anatolian Heritage Federation. He's here. For, for those of you who may not be aware, Anatolia is the old historical name for Turkey. Uh, Mr. Uh, Alkin is uh, focused on the Turkish community in Canada. So we've already spoken about how uh, the Turkish community and the Somali community in Canada can work together, not only to assist Somalia, but to also work together to better our communities in Canada. It, it is very, very hard not to be impressed with the pace and the massive Turkish effort to rebuild Somalia. Turkish humanitarian and, more importantly, development assistance is making a huge difference on the ground. While most foreign workers are confined to the heavily fortified Amisom base, hundreds of Turkish aid workers roam freely in the city center, as well as in other parts of the country, uh, and they're doing so by building hospitals, including the, last one, the, the largest one in the region, refurbishing existing ones, establishing schools, establishing dozens of wells, a tent city, and finally the Turkish Red Crescent is providing daily meals to 15,000 refugees <laughs> and internally displaced people. The, the key to, uh, to, the, to the Turkish approach is that development and humanitarian assistance differs distinctly from any other country. Not only did Turkey mobilize national governments and NGOs to rush to provide aid, but they made sure that the assistance efforts would be spearheaded by Turkish nationals on the ground, working with the local Somali population. For the Turkish government and the Turkish people, it was not just about sending money and then feeling good about it. They took risks while others shied away from Somalia, preferring to manage it from neighboring Kenya. The ultimate aim of Turkish assistance is not to keep providing handouts, but more importantly, to build the institutional capacity for Somalis to eventually help themselves. With a special focus on education, I want to say a few things about that. Ankara, the capital city of Turkey and the Turkish government strongly believes that the Somali people can usher the country into, new, into a new era. And for that, Turkish officials are determined to educate thousands of bright young Somali students, both in Turkey and in schools being built by the Turkish people in Somalia. <laughs> Hundreds have, of Somali students have already been sent to Turkey for education. It is only through this empowerment of bright young Somalis that generations of sustainable development can be achieved. The aid is no longer just limited to Mogadishu, but reaches out to other areas, including Somaliland and Puntland, in the north as well as in the south. Turkey has set up regional development offices in Somaliland, Puntland, as well as in the south. Ankara has offered to train Ankara has offered, and I hope this offer is taken by the Somali government, Ankara has offered to train the Somali police force to enforce security in the country. At the end of the day, it's up to Somalis to lead this campaign of nation building and uh, national uh, re-emergence. But I sense that the people of Somalia are already doing that. They appreciate the Turkish help and any other assistance extended to them 
but they are determined to lead the effort by them. Uh, they are determined to be upfront in this effort, and they deserve to do so. By unleashing the real human potential of Somalis, the people and the government of Turkey will change the fate of Somalia forever. Uh, the past president of the organization, Canadian Somali Congress, Mohamed Kasim, is actually in uh, Turkey right now. And uh, he, told me, he told me of a very famous Turkish saying, which says, Turkiye Janet, which means Turkey is heaven. I hope that, inshallah, with Turkish assistance and Somali resilience, one day we will be able to say Somalia Janet. Thank you very much. Dear uh, uh, Consulate General, uh, Mr. Adriza, dear Mr. Ahmed, Canadian Somali uh, Association, dear distinguished guests, uh, I am very happy uh, to be with you here in warm atmosphere and to see your uh, close uh, uh, interest to Turkish people and Turkish Airlines. I am not uh, going to talk about Turkish Airlines product and services because uh, you are already familiar with Turkish Airlines. Uh, all of you know Turkish Airlines. I'm very, I am very happy that you are interested in Turkish Airlines and uh, I am also very pleased that we connect Somalia to the world, to the rest of the world, because Somalia is our 197th destination. So we connect Somalia to all uh, 196 destinations in the world. So, <laughs> so uh, now Turkish Airlines since uh, is the only carrier having scheduled services to Somalia and it is also available for not only from Somalia but from other countries of the Somalia like Canada so we are now serving from uh, Canada as well via Istanbul it is now available uh, for the time being we have only two weekly frequency but it will be uh, increased and hopefully very soon we will have uh, daily services from Turkey to uh, Somalia. <laughs> the most important thing is that we connect the uh, friendly countries. Both friendly countries now will be connected. It's very important uh, because the air transportation is essential actually to improve the relations and to accelerate other facilities of the relationship, bilateral relations of the two countries. Since this is a, we see that this is a long-term actually relation, so Turkish Airlines will act very contributional side of this uh, developing relations. Thank you very much, uh, and uh, I would like I wish you a happy actually uh, journey with Turkish Airlines to your country. Yeah. Yeah. Abdullahi Ali Farah, who has a few words to say on the long history of Turkish assistance to Somalia. <laughs> waxa nimanku ma hadeen cawimeen waxa inaw aan u qaban karo qoomiyadahan waxa dadkaas inaw aan u qaban karo waxba inaw qabteen labadaas aan u xisaarahay 
waxaan isku dayaa inaan afka ingiriiska ku gudbiyo afkaas af af waxa weeye weynaan aan ku bartay lahjad talyaani la ilaahay raali halaga ahaado ya it is my my great pleasure that the event has been held to show our appreciation and gratitude that we have for the people and the government of Turkey led by Prime Minister Tayyip Erdogan. <laughs> Luckily, the General Consulate of the Republic of Turkey, the officer of the Turkish Airlines or director and the other distinguished guests are here with us. We wanted to inform the General Consul, the, the general consul that the Somali people will never forget the timely and the brotherly assistance that Turkey is providing to us in our time of need. <laughs> Moving on, we wanted to enlighten the Somali people of the importance of learning about the history of Turkey and the various efforts by the Ottoman Empire to assist Somalis in the past centuries. We all know, for example, that the Somali nationalist Muhammad Abdullah Hassan fought against the British Empire in their attempt to colonize Somalia. But few people know that the power behind him, who was providing armies, ammunition, and logistics was the Ottomans. <laughs> History also teaches us that the past Turkey con con uh, constantly defend defended the Somali people from the campaign of genocide carried out by Ethiopian kings in western and the northern Somalia. In addition to that, we know that the current, current system of drinking water in the city of Berbera in northern Somalia was installed by Turkish engineers 120 years ago, which is still functioning. On behalf of Somali Brownist community, uh, I'm one of the members of Somali Brownist community. This indeed was uh, well organized and well done and well prepared by the brothers and sisters and the members, executive members of the Somali Brownist community. But I would like to thank on behalf of Somali Brownist community and Brown Somali Brownist associations of Canada that the ambassador Ali Reza for being with us and it's indeed an honor. And also brother Ahmed Hussein, who is the, uh, the uh, executive or president of the Somali or uh, Canadian Somali Congress who is really one of the most active members of Somali community in GTA or in Canada as I know of. We've had actually a few bones discussions <laughs> before, the, before the actual actually uh, program began we had a few bones and we have discussed a number of things that absolutely I'm impressed that he has done and also a number of things that we have discussed that inshallah I would like to join him that we do together. So what I would like to mention is actually not long story about the uh, relationship because that was already being spoken. But what I would like to mention is that Somali Brownies community initiatives and what they are doing really and who are Somali Brownies indeed. Brawa is one of the most important and oldest city in Somali. It's located in one of the provinces known as Lower Chevel. It's actually when it comes to a strategic location, it's indeed one of the most really city that any person or any organization or government that would like to run business in Somali really need to consider to in terms of the location, in terms of other resources that are most important to not only Somali community at large, but also other investors or other uh, interesting organizations or, or, or governments such as Turkey's government. So not only that what you have done in other locations in Somali would be really resourceful and very important and useful in Brawa, I mean in Somali, but also specifically the city of Brawa, 
because of its importance, historical importance, in terms of religious wise, it has actually the one of the cities in Somalia known for, in terms of number of masjids located or mosques located in Brawa, are almost second to none in the country as a whole. And this is indeed not that a member of Somali Brawanese, but rather it's a fact that is known. The other thing that I would like to mention is actually the people are one of the most be peaceful people, even though they are Somali. They are part of the Somali. They are as Somali as any other Somali. <laughs> however, however, they do have a specific actually culture and unique culture that is actually, is not shared by any other Somali community that it's also the known fact. The, the other last I would like to mention is actually indeed, it's a privilege and honor that we share this meeting and organization or this event with Turkish government representatives and also Somali Congress. It's indeed, it's a privilege and we would like to thank you for the opportunity and we're looking forward to be working with you in many areas and also we have very good advice and really essential resources in terms of uh, uh, not only the the uh, what is happening in the country we have really specific and an inside knowledge but also other larger knowledge that Somali at large really need to be aware of so we would like to thank you for that and I would like to conclude on behalf of Somali Brownist community thank you again wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh I would now like to call upon Amni Ghani Jama, who just came from Somalia two days ago and would like to say a few words. I am Nairobi. I am from Nairobi. I I humanitarian like in more in the area of technology use in humanitarian uh, I would like to take this opportunity tonight and also add my voice to those who are thankful for what they have done Turkish government thank you Thank you. Somali English I hope you don't mind a uh, humanitarian before Turkish involvement in Somalia. 20 years, maybe 22 years in emergency. It was not an emergency, but it was by design. In development, we have three stages. Emergency, recovery, and development. If you could all be quiet for just a few moments, I would like to call upon Mohamed Sufi Shobla, who is one of the elders from the Somali Bravanese community who would like to lead us in making dua. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa also gurmati Allah ku gurmado. Amin. Ihsan ka at samensi ilahe makadumiyo. Amin. Izzada i sharafta at kuleda i Somalia ilahe makadijiyo. Amin. Sasan ku jal nahi abd al abdina ni din le nahi. Amin. Iyo adiga iyo adiga iyo waftiga ga kuni kusodo wada dole da Canada anaga citizen Canada sa nahi. Marga Alhamdulillah, we had Mudantihin, or to have Mudantin in in Lidin Aman or Co. Yani, we had done it at Nagaisa, Hishan, in an Idin Duano. What can I go in at the Mahainanak? Like in Marka, we have Barano Anaka or in Mahainu, Hibertan, Kulu, we only Mother had Nagasar Sentin, Mother Marka, the Aul Arafat. اللهم اختم بالخيرات أجلنا وحقق بفضلك أمالنا وسهل بلوغ رضاك سبلنا 
وأحسن, وأحسن في جميع الأحوال أعمالنا يا منقذ القرقة يا منجي الهلكة يا شاهد كل النجوى يا منقذ الغرقة يا منجي الهلكة يا شاهد كل نجوى يا منتهى كل شكوى يا قديم الإحسان يا دائم المعروف يا مرزغ كل شيء عليه ومسير كل شيء إليه إليك رفعت أيدي السائلين وأمددت عناق العابدين نسألك أن تجعلنا في كنفك وجودك وحرزك وعيادك وسترك وأمانك اللهم إنا نعوذ بك تعالى فيفا تركي فيفا تركي I would now like to call upon Abdullahi Muhammad and Abi Anfara, who would like to present several gifts to our esteemed guests. This painting, uh, painted by the famous uh, Somali artist Amin Amir, represents the hundreds of Somali students that Turkey is giving an education to. By doing this, Turkey is giving a better future to these young Somali youth and helping to build the future leaders of our country and we'd like to express our gratitude. And this painting also by the famous Somali artist, I mean, Amir represents the resilience of Somali women who bore the burnt of the famine in 2011. The Somali women are the backbone of the community, both in Somalia here, here in Canada as well. Thank you, Somalia. This is, the, this picture is history because this is the last time Somalia hold the exhibition in Europe. Those pictures belong that day in 1989, 23 years ago. We kept them, and this is what we we'll give it to them. It was a Milan in 1989, 23 years ago. And in behalf of the Initiative for Youth Excellence, this is what we like to present the, the Turkish government and the Turkish people. There's a two frames, one of them, the embassy and the government of Turkish um, uh, Prime Minister could have them both. Thank you so much. On behalf of the Somali Bravnis Association of Canada, we'd like to represent these two um, to the ambassador and Ahmed Diri. Thank you. Ugu dambeenti waa halkaan lugu gudunsi hadida qaliya isla markaan oo ay soo qabay soo diyaariyeen jaaliyadda Soomaaliyeed ee community galeed ee reer baraw ee ku dhaqan magaalada Toronto gaar ahaan gudoomiyaha sanadkan Ali Bakr Sheikh Bashir oo isla markaana safiirka Turkiga gacanta u galiyay hadid qaliya oo loo soo diyaariyay Mahad Arab oo Ali Television Universal Toronto